Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And the Holy Bible is the only standard for truth. Hallelujah. All God's people together say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is September the 14th in the year of our Lord, 2017. And this is one a day for the soul. Now, with the computer issues behind me, I understand some of you had trouble seeing the video, that it was a little unclear. And um, I, I just experienced some extreme computer issues. I pretty much had to take my computer back to the day that I got it, which wasn't too long ago. But with those issues behind me now, there is a thought that has been heavy upon my heart for some time. You see, we began this ministry at the first of the year. And today being September the 14th, that means that we are some 260, 270, somewhere around there, days into the year. And because of that, I'm sure you understand the struggles that I sometimes go through in bringing you a word from the Lord each and every day. Because each day I have to come up with something new. So it takes a lot of thought, it takes a lot of prayer, it takes a lot of meditation. And the reason I say this is, is because the message of the Bible is very simple. Do what God wants us to do and not what we want to do. And that's the struggle. And so with that thought in mind, I couldn't help but recall the passage out of 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3 and 4, which says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that wars entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. Now when I read this passage, it's hard for me not to couple it with what Paul also said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24, when he says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that you may obtain the prize. And so the idea that we get from these passages is very clear. The Christian race, the Christian life, the Christian warfare is a repetitive life, a repetitive race, a repetitive warfare each and every day. And so as much as I struggle to bring you a fresh word from the Lord each and every day, the message is the same, friends, over and over and over. Do what God wants you to do, not what you want to do. Now let's take, for instance, in our example here, a soldier. If a soldier is going to remain crisp, alert, attentive, and battle-ready, He's going to have to push himself through the repetitive disciplines each and every day. Nothing changes. He continues to do the same thing every day. If it's target practice, he may change the target, but he is going to fire the gun the same way each and every day. He's going to steady himself. He's going to ready himself. He's going to aim and he's going to fire. So it is with the athlete who runs the race. If he wants to remain on his game, he's going to have to push himself through the same normal routines day after day after day. He wakes up early in the morning, he puts on his jogging clothes, he walks outside, and he runs. He doesn't run any different than the day he did before. He may run a new course, a new path, but his disciplines are the same. And I wanted to remind us of this because our disciplines are the same. They're non-changing. They're ever constant. They're very simple. They're childlike in manner, to be honest with you. Pray every day. Remain in fellowship with the Father every day. Keep your heart in a state of peace, joy, and humility so that you can be in constant fellowship with the Father, always hearing from Him and always communicating with Him, Read his word, study his word, and tell others about what he has done for you so that in hopes he may do it for them. 
And that's why when you begin to read the Bible, you read the same message over and over through the life of Jesus, through the life of Paul, through the life of Moses, through the people of Israel. The message is the same. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, step one, pray, step two, seek my face, step three, and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will forgive their sin, and only then, and then I will heal their land. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And so friends, as it is much my desire to bring you hope and encouragement, sometimes a word of challenge or rebuke, each and every day, the message is very clear. It has been sounded from the beginning of time with Adam, and it is even now being sounded as an alarm today. Stop doing what you want to do and do what the Father wants you to do. Do what the Most High wants you to do. Do what the Lord Jesus wants you to do. Do what the Spirit of the living God wants you to do. And for doing so, you will be highly favored and blessed beyond measure. And if you'll do this when you wake up each and every day, you'll walk in joy and bliss and blessing that you have never known before. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise to the Lamb for the great things that he has done, is doing, and will continue to do for us, his people. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I love you. Have a blessed day in Jesus, and I'll see you on the next video.